Um, I don't know what to say, but the game has crashed a lot today. Um, I've been streaming for about four hours here on Twitch and I'm done. I'm over it. The game keeps crashing and we're going to go over all this stuff that's going on with the game. And there's some issues, some good news, some bad news, some offers worth considering. There's some trash offers, just like every day, I suppose. But yeah, since the patch, the, me personally, the game has crashed 13 times. And then specifically after the second restart of sword today, many, 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 many people are coming into chat and just giving up. Like I have sword to play and I'm, I'm going to talk about that for the second time. And I'm just going to give up on it because it's crashing. Uh, maybe I'll play on my phone. seems like I haven't had any crashes on my phone. I do play on LD player, but people are getting crashes on all devices, crashes, game crashes, nonstop. Game constantly crashing. Who please have some acknowledgement from the community managers. This is about crashing. So this is a problem. Sword satellite at launch time today, November 2nd. Sword tower launch. When is it 10 to launch at five o'clock? Uh, so it, it launched three hours early, meaning that people like myself could get in there and finish it. And then if they didn't change it, there would have been a reset. And then I would have been on day two after the third hour. So the problem with that is that there's leaderboards and people are asleep and people aren't on. So what they decided to do is to take the event down and restart it. So they also reset the milestones. So I was able to go through, I've got a video up. It was an hour and 15 minutes. I was able to go through the sword tower. It took me about an hour and 15 minutes and I was able to open five diamond on orbs. I did only get one drop that was useful. It was a two diamond uh, Sunfire, but there were a lot of people in chat that were in the middle of tower that did not collect their milestones and then it was yanked. And anybody that wasn't online for the first run of sword it did not get access to those milestones. So I don't know how they're gonna resolve this, but players like myself who were online when this happened, you know, basically I'm going to get five diamond on orbs, you know, whatever those milestones are on top of this. I mean, if they give compensation to everyone, then I get to double dip. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. This is another take. The problem is too, is this, the problem with this also is this happened once before on tower. This is the second time this has happened. And then this, it's a little more nuanced than that. And Rastlin has an excellent post right here. Please fix the character bliss refresh timer. Moving the satellite start time is fixing the wrong problem. The real problem is Blitz now starts at two o'clock, but the character cooldown was never changed. The daily Blitz character cooldown timer needs to be moved up three hours to remain the same time for Blitz and event starts. So it's not just a tower problem. It's a Blitz problem also, right? It's like, holy moly, right? This will make Blitz satellite events fair to all players regardless of where they live or their work-life schedules. Otherwise, every Blitz event, some players will still be able to get in the extra rotation for three hours that other players cannot take advantage of. And so that's the same problem that was happening with Sword. Now, good news is that we just got compensation in the mail and I, I feel like this was well-received. Um, pretty much three days in a row made videos about the zombie juggernaut event being not player-friendly. I, I can't think of uh, an... Um, a character release character release that involves money right uh, I'm not talking about apocalypse or drama or super scroll I'm talking about like offers that was less player friendly than zombie juggernaut it's it is so anyways restart your game check in there's a bunch of uh, it's two separate emails one email will be that and then the second email and that uh, largely this is well received uh, I think people are okay with that okay so Diamond stars are here. I've opened a total of six. And by the opening of six, you know, a lot of them I got duplicate elites. And I, you know, then you get, a, you know, you get more elite sevens. So I'm sitting on some elite sevens. And now I'm sitting on 48 um, diamond promotion credits. I don't know what they're exactly called. Uh, let's go take a look at them. I've got them here. So I've got these... Um, you go right here you can see that i've got 48 silver diamond credits now if if i was like scrolling through here and i saw like a high value character like kestrel or king uh or if i actually had a seven red 
Robbie Reyes, that'd be a character I'd be pretty excited about. I would probably need to make a list, uh, a video about like top 10 characters to upgrade, but it's going to be characters like King and Kestrel. Uh, I probably, if, if those characters were showing up, let's say Kestrel or King was showing up, I probably would scroll here and I would convert an Elite 7 to 5 silver or diamond credits. You know, that would make the number go from 48 to 50. Um, also, I can go into tower right now and get like five more. And then by opening those orbs, you get on average like 10 per orb. You get a minimum of eight, but I believe there's dupes and things like that. And so, well, there you go. 48 right there. I've opened six and then I've got 48. So that's how it works. But I just wanted to make people aware that this is a thing. And is it worth doing? Well, it depends on what percentage of your roster is at seven red. Also, what percentage of your usable roster is at seven red? So I went through and added up like how many characters I have at seven red, and I've kind of wailed out a little bit on those gold promotion credits. I spent $50 twice on 3,000, so $100 for 6,000. So like all the characters that I use weekly, meaning characters that I use in raids, characters that I, that I have actually at seven yellow, characters that I use in Alliance War, characters in Cars of Crucible, I've largely already upgraded. So I'm in a different situation where even if I pull a new seven red, it's going to be on an older character like multiple man or whatever, or OG Dr. Strange. Those are two of the character pulls I had today. It's just not a useful character, right? Cause it's completely random. So yeah, at some point I am going to be converting these. If it makes sense, I'm still sticking to my plan of, you know, trying to see this number right here, try to keep that number at 35. And they, I open them and then they just move up. Look at the game. It's just, it, it's probably going to crash right here. Well, maybe it won't. All right. But I, I'm only saving 35. I'm not going to hold back my roster per progress because the seven red star system is being accelerated with diamond promotion credits right now. And so uh, the reason to hoard this stuff is getting lower and lower. And my goal is to get enough of these so that when the next new character released, you know, I just all have a, a boatload of Elite Sevens to open. And in theory, maybe I'll have like only Elite Sevens, like 35 Elite Sevens. And that'll be more than enough to guarantee that I get a um, seven red on the new character at the time of release because it cascades. Because when you pull a duplicate, you get a reroll and you get a reroll and you get a reroll. So just keep that in mind. And, and the reason we're talking about that was the best use for Elite Sevens. There you go. That's my plan for it. Diamonds today. Diamonds launching today. A few details. Let's go over this. Earn diamonds from Sword Satellite today. There'll be a free claim for a thousand diamond door orb fragments for diamond every day for 20 days. So that's 10 orbs and free claims. And it's it's literally just like the first hit. You know, there's no offers yet. Uh, I'm fully expecting there to be leaderboard auctions you know, which is going to be super expensive, right? For the people that do that. And then there'll be offers. I, I'm not expecting them to be cheap. Uh, this is true. Like when they launched Blue ISO 4, Blue ISO 5, it's expensive. It's just the way they do things here. To be first is expensive in this game. Earning Diamond Dawn Orbs and Dark Diamond Credits from the new Cosmic Crucible Season 5 starting soon. So I believe... I don't have... I, we're going to have a blog, what, tomorrow? So maybe we'll have a date on that tomorrow. But uh, the other season's over, right? So this is just around the corner. We did uh, did post a video on the new season rules. Room two is changing and going away, thank goodness. On the website, some players may notice the diamonds do not appear right away. They go to web stats table. So if you go to msf.gg and you're looking at like, you're comparing characters and you can toggle yellow stars, red stars, you can have to hit refresh and go back into the menu and then the diamond show up. And there's a video here if you're having that problem. And also they're extending on the dark, uh, the, the, the diamond, the, the, the dark diamonds for zombie Iron Man. So the way it was is they were going to give a three diamond to the top 50. Now they're going to give a two diamond to 50 through 200 and then 200 through 500 will get a diamond one. And like I said, I, I'm fully expecting dark diamonds to be auctioned off and very expensive. So they expanded on that there. Um, I do want to read this. This is a note from the player council. And I just want to say that um, I agree with everything that's being said here. And I like the, the topics. And I want to say that these issues are being echoed by envoys. And our conversations there are nearly identical. 
shared feedback about the seven yellow star farmability plan again with the store costing income issues questions and concerns from the player voice community and beyond followed up with the promised store currency gift to see when this would be landing an in inbox followed up on the farmability plan for vol king and zombie iron man advice on how to, this important is the community to see farmability as complete shared negative feedback about the recent events continue to push power core spending and back-to-back -back events i think it was like three weeks in a row shared the community's desire to see updated availability of training mats as well as they get ability for first time rewards on the lower raid levels while completing higher difficulty raids this is a no-brainer for me if if you've never done difficulty one and two and three and you get thrown into an alliance that's doing difficulty five every day it's an inconvenience for the other 24 players, the other 23 players to go do one, two, and three. The first time you complete difficulty five, it should credit you for four, three, two, and one. This is like the biggest no-brainer I've ever seen. Worked directly with Scopely earlier this week, multiple issues around the Zugs event, release and offers, yep. Flag the stability issues, reported the 7.5 release. Yeah, 13 crashes. I haven't had a crash in months, let alone 13. Discuss content for current and future game modes, events, and shared feedback. Discuss council playtesting current and future game modes and shared feedback. Yeah. All right. Spend your encouraging energy. <laughs> Someone told me that today, and I was at 120. Go! Run to a walk! Go spend it now. Friends, family, work, eating, sleep. These are obstacles of being successful in Marvel Strike Force. Not a fan of the five character being a month away. I like this post. I thought this post was different when I first saw the headline. I thought it was about something different is what it is. It's about how they sell us four characters and then the month long character follows. So like Ironheart right now, they did it with Tigra. Same as can be said with Ironheart being locked be behind a month long and a few weeks away from a usable five team Pegasus. So by doing that, you know, if you're free to play and you didn't buy offers, the team is not optimal until you get Ironheart, which is not even close. It's kind of lame. And they did it with Tigra, and now they're doing it with Pegasus. And Pegasus, because it's a daily raid team, one could argue that, you know, on a daily basis, that's more important than uh, Tigra. Mysterio's amazing. Kind of crazy. I noticed that on the test server. I don't know how much I want to upgrade him, but yeah, Mysterio's quite good in war didn't see mentioned anywhere but the buffs to mysterio's mirror image is insane ton of health for summon and you can summon so many yes offers 500 power cores is about 750 so for the other well about seven dollars for the three dollars you get this um this guy right here ronin is going to be used to unlock green goblin so this would you know i might spend the 15 dollars on this because it'll take me an extra star level maybe that'll help me get green goblin if you're looking for power cores, you get 1650 power cores for $10. Typically, you get 750 power cores for $10. This is in a calendar, so it's spread out over 30 days. Uh, this offer here is interesting to me because this right here is gear tier 18 for $15 and an Elite 7. Elite 7s, I, I, I fear that the Elite 7s are not nearly as valuable as I thought now that these diamond orbs are the dawn diamond orbs have a 50 percent chance of giving a seven red and then if you get a dupe then you get another you get 2500 of these just like shown here and then you can save that for the featured character new character when you with the boosted drop rate so we'll have to see uh these certainly are more valuable than elite sixes it just depends on where you are i feel like like the krakens have been done with seven stars like six months nine months ago uh, heavy spenders, myself included, are, are, are closing in on being done with seven star system and the rest of the community might be six months to a year behind everybody else. Uh, training materials. We need more training materials. There you go. Um, Zombie Iron Man is amazing. If you have a, a, a thick hella, go for it. And then also this is um, better than their anchor pricing. They try selling a single Elite Six for $10. Here's two Elite Sixes and um, 15 character shards of the new Iron Man. And then we've got two offers here, 50 character shards for five bucks. And then lastly, this came, there's more than this. I guess I didn't post all of them. There were several, there was like five or six of them. Uh, British Zemo, Titania, I think were also in there. But this is good. I gotta say that the King is one of my favorite characters in the game. 
fifteen dollars for 100 king shards and then you get the rest of them as well and then it looks like there's also a um a chance to promote one of them to six red stars for 15 bucks i think that's a good deal i'm done i'm tired of the, the game crashing kind of uh wore me out today um a little apathetic bye for now